Welcome to German Grammar Videos. Thank you for watching. This presentation will examine how to make comparisons in German. The presentation will first review the regular comparative form of German adjectives and adverbs before moving over to a discussion of how comparisons are formed in German. We will first look at how German uses the comparative conjunction as to form comparisons of inequality. After that, we will learn to express an increase in degree using the adverb immer. After examining correlative comparisons, the presentation will conclude with a look at forming comparisons of equality with so wie. As in other videos in the series, examples in English will preface our discussion of German grammar topics as a means of quickly developing background knowledge. Let's get started. The comparative form is constructed by adding the comparative suffix er to the positive form of an adjective or adverb. As you see on the screen, the comparative form of the adjective schnell, meaning fast in German, is schneller. There are also irregular and umlauted forms of German comparatives, which we will not examine here. You may want to review these before continuing with this video. A comparative structure consists of two clauses, an independent clause at the beginning of the sentence and a comparative clause at the end of the sentence. An independent clause is so named as it would form a complete sentence were it to stand on its own. That is to say, the sentence, that car is larger, makes sense all by itself. As you see on the screen, the independent clause ends with a comparative form of, an, of the adjective large, which is larger. The comparative clause, a type of subordinate adverbial clause, follows the independent clause and begins with the comparative conjunction than. The subordinate clause is so named as it, unlike an independent clause, cannot stand on its own. The sentence, then that car, has a sense of incompleteness about it. It would make no sense were it to stand on its own. Finally, we can omit the verb from the comparative clause as its sense is carried over from the independent clause. Removing redundant elements from the comparative clause is known as comparative deletion. German forms comparisons in a manner similar to English. The sentence you see on the screen, dieses Auto ist größer als das Auto, is a translation of the English sentence in the prior slide. In this sentence, the noun phrase dieses Auto in the independent clause is being compared to the noun phrase das Auto in the comparative clause. More precisely, it is a characteristic of the two objects that these noun phrases represent, namely their size, that is being compared. Größe, which is the comparative form of the adjective groß, is used to make this comparison. In German, the comparative conjunction als serves the same function as the English than. You will note that the verb is deleted in the comparative clause as it is redundant. In addition to comparing the characteristics of nouns, comparisons of inequality can be used to illustrate differences, differences between the activity of these nouns. In the sentence you see on the screen, das Auto fährt schneller als er läuft, the car drives faster than he runs, the focus of the comparison is not on the nouns themselves, but rather the manner in which they move. More precisely, it is the speed of this movement that is being compared. We need, therefore, a comparative adverb, schneller, to distinguish between the car driving, das Auto fährt, and the person running, er läuft. As these two activities are different, the verb in the comparative clause cannot be removed through comparative deletion. Were the activity in both clauses identical, we would be able to delete the second verb. When expressing an increase in degree over time, English sometimes uses two identical comparatives in parallel joined by the conjunction and. The sentence you see on the screen, for example, could be used to express gradual improvement in your understanding of German grammar over time. It, that is my understanding of German grammar, is getting better and better. German relies on a different syntax to express an increase in degree over time. As you see on the screen, German uses only one comparative adjective or adverb preceded by the adverb immer. 
The sentence here is a translation of the English sentence in the prior slide and could, for example, be used to express the fact that your German is improving. Es, mein Deutsch, wird immer besser. Finally, correlative comparative constructions consist of two parallel comparative clauses, each one containing at least an adverbial the and a comparative adjective or adverb. These clauses can be further modified with additional noun and verb phrases. The correlative comparative expresses a proportional dependence between the notions expressed in the two clauses. The sentence you see on the screen signifies a relationship between increased quantity and quality and could, for example, be used to express the relationship between increased studying and improved grades. The more I study, the better my grades are. German also employs a similar correlative comparative construction, consisting of two parallel comparative clauses, which also express a proportional dependence between the notions expressed in the clauses. But whereas English uses the adverbial the in the comparative form of an adjective or adverb, German relies on the paired correlative conjunctions, je, desto, to do the same. German can also use the paired constructions je umso to express the same proportional relationship. The sentences you see on the screen, for example, could also be used to express a relationship between studying and grades. Je mehr ich lerne, desto besser sind meine Noten. Now that we have looked at comparisons of inequality, increasing degree, and correlative comparisons, Let's conclude this presentation with a look at comparisons of equality. Whereas comparisons of inequality drew comparisons between two dissimilar objects, comparisons of equality are used to compare things that are of similar or nearly the same proportion. The sentence you see on the screen, for example, compares two different men, however both men have the same height. In this structure, the first as functions as an adverb modifying the following adjective in the positive form. The second as functioned as a conjunction, introducing the comparative clause. You will also note that the verb in this clause can be omitted through comparative deletion. German forms comparisons of inequality in a, in a similar manner. The sentence you see on the screen is a translation of the English sentence in the previous slide. In this sentence, the noun phrase dieser Mann is being compared to the noun phrase dermann. More precisely, it is a characteristic of the two objects that the nouns represent, namely their height, that is being compared. The construction so v consists of the adverb so and the comparative conjunction v, which introduces the comparative clause. You will note that, as in English, the positive form of the adjective gross appears in the same position between so and v. You'll also note that the verb can be omitted in the comparative clause. We can also compare similarities between activity. In the sentence you see on the screen, er läuft so schnell wie das Auto fährt, or he runs as fast as the car drives, it is not the nouns that are being compared, but rather the speed with which they move. We can still use the same so v construction as in the prior slide, but in this case, an adverb in the positive form, schnell, is inserted after the adverb so and before the conjunction v, which introduces the comparative clause. It is important to note that you can further modify the so v construction with additional adverbs preceding this construction. For instance, a relationship of equality between the two terms can be negated through the inclusion of nicht. As you see on the screen, nicht suggests that the male person, er, is not of the same height as the woman, die Frau. The addition of the adverb genau underscores the equality of the relationship, suggesting that the male person is exactly as tall as the woman. Finally, the adverb fast, fast suggests that the two are almost equal in height. And that concludes this presentation on how to make comparisons in German. The German Grammar video series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. 
The videos, scripts, and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share alike, 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.